What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and today you guys already know the deal. Um, Final Fantasy 7 just had a gameplay slash um, cinematic trailer released and I definitely had to get on top of it. But as you can see, I'm not by myself today. I'm actually joined by my girlfriend, Christine. The reason why she's here with me is because even though my Final Fantasy knowledge, you know, I, I, I recently got into the series and it was because of her. She's the one that brought me into it. As much as I may know about Final Fantasy and, you know, it's not some some games I know more than others. She is a fucking expert in this field. In fact, she's the one that got me into into the entire franchise. And I, I got to say thank you to that, too, because, you know, I mean, I, I didn't have the money to try it when I was little. But anyways. Because she's such a Final Fantasy VII pro on top of everything, like, like what, like, do you, you know everything about it, right, basically? It's been years, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So, I mean, yeah, because we have an expert here with me, maybe I'm hoping that the goal here would, that, would be that my girlfriend could help me out with um, understanding certain things in the trailer. Because last time, when I was watching the um, cloud reveal for Smash Brothers, even though I knew a decent amount of stuff, she informed me on so much. So, I figured the same thing will happen Motorcycle. this time. Motorcycle. Yeah, I know. Like she was, in, she was filling me in on all the references and shit. She was going, "Oh, that's from the game. That's from this scene. That's from the scene with the, him in the boat. He was confused and shit. He's seasick at some points. It's like, oh shit, she knows what the fuck she's talking about, yo." So I gotta have my girl with me with this trailer, man. Everyone's been telling me to watch this shit, and since everybody seems to be in a real Cloud Final Fantasy mood, I mean, did you see the the video I did earlier with the um, with the Smash Brothers kind of battle theme and. Amazing song. So we're going to see the remake, this new trailer here. Let's see exactly what happens. I cried. Really? Yeah. She, she told me. You know, she was at work. You were at work. And... I was at work on my break, and I did not, ex I didn't, I was not expecting that. And I literally had tears going down my face. I, I was so excited. But look, can we, just, can we just talk about how insane it is that we actually have a fucking trailer for everything this soon? You know? Like... You'll understand why they were able to come up with the trailer very quickly. Oh, okay. It's, it, it's literally only like the first. Oh, you're. Yeah, you gotta move it. Oh. No, we gotta move it so you, you're actually in the camera view. Oh, oh, oh god. Yeah, no, she, she's not. You know, um, I do. I'm the one that usually does it. How the I hell? Have to go you? Towards you. you have to go towards me. Oh, oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, we're good. Okay. But um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm just surprised that we got something this soon, considering Square Enix's track record with putting stuff out um after a long period of time. That we're getting a gameplay trailer. Really good stuff. So let's get into this right now. I turn the volume up real good. Oh, wait. Oh, oh you're not ready. My fucking uh, thing isn't plugged in. Whoops. All right, let's get into it. I don't see why we brought a Shinra soldier along. No way he'd throw all that away for us. What's his name anyway? Cloud Strife. And he says it's former soldier. Look, heavy security like this, you want a professional. Whoa. Guys, some avalanche. Yo, this shit looks so real. Yo, dog, like I, I, I gotta say, man, like I, I, this was evident from the first one, but the people look so. Uh, my boy Barrett! My boy Barrett! My boy Barrett! He, damn, he's got the. Everything looks a lot better. Like in the original game, all you see is the gray arm. You don't see the detail like this, dog. Yo, yo, it looks like fifteen. Dogs. This looks so good! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! I'm surprised, guys. Like, like I mean, yeah, he's kind of, he's kind of, yeah, yo, he's kind of, yo, yo, he's a right? detail, he's kind of skinny, he's kind of skinny though. That boy need to eat something. That boy need to eat something. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yo, the, the fat nigga, <laughs> the fat nigga with the with the bandana, and you you break his ass, you, you you um you shit on him in the beginning with with on the on the train. I remember that shit. This nigga looks so skinny in this game. <laughs> Oh shit. Yo, the gameplay! Alright, this is not like the original. Holy shit! Are we talking action RPG? This is this looks like 15. This is 15. That's Noctis right there, my boy. That's Noctis. Yo! Yo look. My nigga Zack? <laughs> <laughs> the spider! <laughs> oh god. The fucking spider! <laughs> Fucking spider thing! I remember that shit. This nigga cloud! He, and he doesn't look like too anime, like he looks like a human, though. Know? Yeah, he looks good. This is a trend that has been, you know, we, we've been used to this with 15 and whatnot. Even 13, I guess you can say, but I mean, he looks so 
realistic, dude. Like, god damn, the detail. Got the veins on his arm. The, the attention to detail is fucking amazing. Like, this is one thing that you can expect with Square Enix, dude. That quality, no other RPG is coming anywhere near this. You know, a lot of people are hyped about Xenoblade Chronicles X. I understand that, but it doesn't come to this level of detail, this level of quality, precision, attention to every single minute thing. Holy shit. I'm impressed. That looks damn good. And one thing I gotta say, I don't know if some people may disagree with me. A lot of people do actually prefer the um, turn-based RPG style that the original 7 was in. Me, I like action RPG a lot, which is why I'm super hyped for 15 on um, episode Duske. I, I really enjoyed that. So what do you think? Like, Are you kind of like against the fact that they changed the battle system so much? Well, remember Crisis Core 10 years ago? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. 8 that, years ago. Yeah. But, yeah. They yeah, changed it, it to that, and it was so much better. It was so much more fun. And uh, even you know, though it was on a mobile... It made sense. Yeah, that's true. I it, think they were gearing towards that anyway. Yeah, probably. I mean... If, I feel if they were going to make a remake... Then they, they would, would do it towards the most yeah. recent, I guess, iteration of where the characters no, were No, they were just... I think they were naturally used that battle system. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. No, it, it makes sense. It just worked so well for Crisis Core. Damn, yo. Like, I didn't get to play much of Crisis Core. The only gameplay that I really saw was when my girlfriend was playing it um, years ago when we mer first met. So, I mean, I'm just happy that the battle system is going to be something more based on action and response time. And Parrot! This nigga! This nigga look like Shofu, my boy! That nigga is ready! Same as us! And this fat I mean, that's not, that's not the point. I don't remember his name, but I mean... He's part of Avalanche. So... The group that's trying to against Shenra. So these niggas are trying to hit up that Mako core. Barrett's the leader. Yeah. So, I'm, just, I'm mad that we didn't see any Tifa in this one, though. I know everyone's been anxious to see. You see, what that's why like. I think it was so easy for them to come up with this trailer. This is literally the first few minutes of the game. Yeah, I thought it would take us to where they're actually on the train and escaping from the situation, but no. I mean, you see when he actually makes the escape for the train, but like. None of the scenes, like, after the fact, when they're, like, talking. Yeah. They show some of the boss fight. You know what it reminds me of? The extension of that trailer. Of the yeah, PS3. That we saw the, the, the original PS3 one trailer. where they teased it and they said, Oh, yeah, look what we can oh do with the God. PS3's power. <laughs> Holy shit. It just seemed like an extension of that. Yeah, basically. So, I, I, I feel hype, but it's still not good enough. I, I, yeah, I need exactly. another scene. It, it's so good, though. Like, the little bit of gameplay that we saw. God. Yeah. Holy shit. They close, show Cloud and Barrett. Like, if you guys aren't aware, in the beginning, like, these guys are basically on a fucking terrorist mission <laughs> trying to fucking destroy <laughs> this fucking reactor that powers up the whole goddamn city and this power plant. And. Holy shit. The gameplay. Really nice to see that it's. Yo! One thing that I'll be concerned with, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. One thing I'm a little concerned with with this trailer is uh, the frame rates with the battle system. Well, uh, those, I mean, I, I, I know, frame rate resolution, we shouldn't focus on that, but I mean, uh, my boy is looking a little... <laughs> Maybe hopefully we can get a smooth 30 frames at least by the time the game originally comes out. I know, this is early stuff. We can't judge the game based on this, and most likely it'll smooth out as time goes on. But uh, I'm just hoping that frame rate is solid, because they managed to hit a really good sweet spot with episode Duske. Duska, I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it, but Duske. Duske had an amazing frame rate after certain patches to smooth things okay. out. So I, I don't have any doubts in my mind that by the time this game comes out in 20 years, that the frame rate's going to be totally fine. That's a joke, by the way. I'm making fun of Square Enix for putting games out really late. But um, anyways, as long as the product is really good quality, and as you can see from this, it's going to be amazing. Holy shit. This is so hard. And then Cloud is in Smash Brothers. We got two of the biggest announcements in gaming this year, dog. Like, holy shit. Anyways, um, thank you for joining me, Christine. Always cool. The few times that she shows up with me on camera, at least. Um, yeah, I had fun. I'm glad you watched this with me because I was trying to convince her. I was like, come on, watch it with me. Watch it with me. You're so good at this stuff. And I didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it at all, man. She was like, so... Uh, she, she's amazing. She knows all this stuff a lot better than me. And... Um, like, we were considering playing through the first game, well, the original, um, but we'll see, you know? I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, if you enjoyed this reaction slash uh, analysis, I suppose, and let me know in the comments. And I'll talk to you niggas in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.